पेंट वी ऑल नो पर्पज ऑफ अ पेंट टू अवॉइड करोजन डिलेज इन रस्टिंग प्रोवाइड एस्थेटिक लुक एंड प्रोवाइड स्मूथ सर्फेस पेंट्स आर वेरिएबल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अ पेस बाइंडर पिगमेंट फिलर थीनर ड्रायर्स एक्सेट्रा बट द थ्री मेजर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ अ पेंट्स और इम्पॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ अ पेंट्स आर पिगमेंट बाइंडर एंड सॉल्वेंट फर्स्ट बेस बेस इज अ बॉडी ऑफ अ पेंट बेस सॉलिड सब्सटेंस इन फाइन स्टेट इट फॉर्म्स बल्क ऑफ अ पेंट इट यूज टू रिड्यूस श्रिंकेज आफ्टर ड्राइंग इट हेल्प्स टू मेक फिल्म ऑफ अ पेंट ओपैक्यू हार्डर एंड इलास्टिक यूजली दे कंसिस्ट ऑफ व्हाइट लीड रेड लीड जिंक ऑक्साइड टेटेनियम व्हाइट एल्युमिनियम पाउडर एंड लिथोफोन व्हाइट लीड ऑन वुड वर्क एंड रेड लीड ऑन आयरन वर्क बिकॉज रेड लीड यूज टू रेजिस्टेंस टू करोजन now the pigments we all know pigments are used for coloring purpose pigments are finely ground inorganic or organic powders of a higher refractive index which is more than 1.5 higher refractive index good opacity with good lightening absorption or scattering properties average diameter ranges from 0.01 to 5 micron they use to hide surface imperfections they improve the impermeability they protect the paint film by reflecting the uv lights examples red oxides are indian red and chromium oxides we get base pigments now for binding vehicle binder these oily materials used for binding pigments fillers additives it is oil to which the base is mixed examples linseed oil the most important linseed oil raw linseed oil and double boiled linseed oil raw linseed oil for interior work where the double boiled linseed oil for exterior work which are in contact with atmosphere then poppy oil tongue oil nut oil alkyds polyurethane means pu epoxy and polyester it gives glossy durability and flexibility tough nails also now solvent solvent or thinner used to make thin mixture of a paint simple thinner means solvent used to make thin mixture of a paint turpentine oil benzene naphtha these are the examples of a solvent it helps in spreading paint uniformly over the surface it gives good coverage now exander adulterant in waste filler to increase volume of a paint filler for volume of a paint we take one fourth part of a base example the gypsum barium sulfate baso4 silica powder aluminum silicate now dryer these are compounds of a metal like litharge manganese dioxide lead acetate cobalt the function of a dryer is to absorb oxygen from air and supply it to the vehicle for hardening the excess dryer causes flaking and destroys elasticity and 10% of a base it takes 10% of a base whereas filler take one fourth part of a base now the types of a paint first oil paint we all knows these paints have a white lead as a base these paints applied in three coats primer under coat finishing coat this is a cheap and easy to apply then enamel paint add on a tv yes enamel paints these paints is prepared by the addition of a lead or zinc to varnish before enamel paint application it is necessary to have titanium coat these paints can be used for interior and exterior walls metal woods it gives a glossy finish it is washable it is available in both oil based and alkyd based emulsion paint means rubber in water emulsion 
the binding material used in emulsion paint are polyvinyl acetate and polystyrene pigments and dryers cobalt and manganese are common primers within 15 minutes it will dry and within 2 hours it will hard moisture and humidity in these areas moisture and humidity is more than it uses emulsion paint it can be cleaned with water now bitumen paint bitumen paint is the most protective paint this consists of natural asphalt or bitumen naphtha or spirit it gives most protective surface it gives it uses on plastered surface concrete surface brick masonry surface it resists water and moisture cellulose paint it consists of celluloid sheet or amyl acetate in ethyl acetate thinner all expensive things are painted with cellulose paint like aeroplane bike motorcycle example duco paint aluminum powder paint aluminum powder plus spirit varnish it has high heat reflecting properties hence it uses in hot water pipe and towels also it reflects in night it resists acid fumes now asbestos paint asbestos paint is made with asbestos fiber it is a fireproof paint it uses to reduce the leakage in metal roof and gutter etc bronze paint it has high reflecting property hence it uses in radiator stucco paint it uses on stone masonry and brick masonry now defects in paint very easy simple topic blistering and peeling when blistering and peeling occurs the sign swelling of a paint film swelling due to oil and moisture under the paint film this causes air bubbles under the paint film swelling due to moisture then called peeling swelling due to oil and greases then called blistering these defects can be eliminated by using porous paints like emulsion paint instead of non porous paint like oil paint and enamel paint fading discoloration of paint fading due to atmospheric agencies like sunlight and moisture to prevent fading or discoloration where weathering resistance pigment should be used in paint greening the paint should be opaque enough to cover the background surface but the visibility of background due to insufficient opacity of a paint film even after the final coat is called greening chalking chalking is the formation of a powder on the painted surface this is due to insufficient oil in the primer running when a thin layer of a paint is a coating on glossy and smooth surface then paint may run back and sometimes leaves small areas of a surface uncovered called running sagging is the same type when surface is to be painted with a thick layer of a paint the thick paint film may run downward and form sagging of a paint it is similar to running but here the sag of a paint is very thick flaking detachment of a paint film from the surface is called flaking it occurs when the bond between surface and paint is paint film is poor for prevention surface should be cleaned and rubbed with abrasive paper before paint now blooming in this defects dull patches are formed on painted surface this is due to improper ventilation weathering defective paints etc now wrinkling in this defects paint film gets shrinks and develops crawls on the surface it can be prevented by allowing the undercoat to dry completely before the final coat flash flashing in this defects glossy patches on the painted surface this due to weathering action poor workmanship and poor quality of a paint in blooming dull patches in flashing glossy patches saponification saponification of a paint occurred when the painted surface exposed to chemical like alkalis on pipes and factory walls in these defects soap patches form and paint film gets peeled off alligatoring 
cracking occurs when hard paint applied on a soft paint over the soft coat and tricking this is similar to alligatoring cracking but cracks are in limited or small areas in these mildew mildew is a form of a fungus due to warm moist and dark places it can be prevented by keeping surface dry it develops gray color patches it if it occurs when then wash with a solution of a bleach thank you and subscribe my channel